Mas... Jesus says the head of this house, the unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener to every conversation. When the mountains are so high that I cannot climb them, he, he carries me over. When the streams of life become raging rivers and I cannot cross them, he, he carries me over. When the waves of life push me back to the bottom, he reaches down his nail-scarred hands, and he, he carries me over. When I pass from this life, and I stand at this river, he, he will carry me over. Welcome to He Carries Me Over Ministries Incorporated. Very special event. Revival 2023. A revival is to revive. Rejuvenate. Get your old Joe money for another year. And people I hope during this revival something is said that will cause you to do that. Get rejuvenated. We were founded on John 3.16, John 3.17, and John 3.18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. God sent his Son into this world not to condemn, but that through him the world may be saved. The believers are not condemned, it's only the non believers that are condemned. Jesus did not send his Son to the cross, he did not bring his Son out of the tomb. He did not cause his son to go back into heaven for a select few. He did it for everybody. Everybody. Everybody who believes. Come. Come unto me, he said. All you that thirst, come. Come unto me. All those that want knowledge, come. Come unto me, he tells us. Everybody, anyone who wants it. It's free, people. There's not a price on it. It's free. Just believe in him. Prayers tonight. Three people killed. Two officers wounded. Multiple others are injured. In a shooting in New Mexico, the killer has been killed. The shooter has been killed. Another story of gun violence. Prayers for Reverend Bob, whose legs are swelling again. And prayers for a neighbor. Her name is John, 90 years old. One of the sweetest elders that you've ever come in contact with. She fell. <coughs> Her daughter notifies Bob that they don't think anything's broke, but they're going to check to make sure that her heel does not broke. So remember that name, John. And this is for her. Prayers for everybody. People were living in a time that we need all the prayers that we can get. A time like no other that we've ever seen. It is getting worse. It is. Now they say that the water in the ocean <coughs> is getting hot. Er, this is the hottest it's ever been. And you know hot water in the ocean is what beats hurricanes. They can be more intense this year. See, we're living in that time. A time, people, that I don't believe that there's very much longer that he's not going to be coming. That he's going to be coming. He's going to be coming back. <coughs> Miss Lord, I pray right now. Put the healing hand down on this nation. Healing hand down right now. The healing hand. 
not how touch. Touch God. Touch God. And touch everybody out there who just needs that feeling. <coughs> Just touch him, Lord. Just touch him. That healing. That healing hand that you have. in your Bible. One time they were going to stone Jesus. And Jesus said, you going to stone me because I told you the truth? They said, no, we stoned because of blasphemy. And Jesus said, and I want you to listen to this, Jesus said, you stoned me because I said that some of you will become gods? They dropped their stones and walked away. Now listen to me one time. You stone me because I tell you that some of you will become gods. You call that blasphemy? <coughs> some of you will become gods, he told me. These are the words of Jesus, people's in the Bible. Now, John saw the holy city coming down from God, from heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> prepare, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. The foundation of the city is the twelve stones that you find in the first stones, diamond, ruby, emerald. And then the city itself. <coughs> Springtime, all this pollen. Gets me every time. Lord, these are your words right now. Let me say it in clarity so they can understand. Get thee behind me, Satan, for God is great. The foundation of the city, like I said, is twelve precious stones. First stones, diamonds, rubies, rubies, emeralds, <coughs> you name it. The city itself is pure gold. When John went into the city, he tells us a lot about the city, but some things he don't say. He said he saw angels all around. <coughs> He saw a crystal river flowing from the throne of God. He saw God and Jesus sitting on a throne. He saw many rooms in the mansion. And I believe he saw the names of the people that was there, that will be there, but he couldn't tell no more. He even saw God. He gives us a perfect Perfect picture. Some people say you can't see the face of God in New York. That's the Old Testament. John saw him in New York. I've seen him in New York. Now, let's take a journey. Let's go into that city. He'd <coughs> be gone. <coughs> Beyond what John saw. Let's take a little detour. Now, once again, you have never, your eyes have never seen, your ears have never heard. Your imagination can never imagine what God has in store. But let's take a little journey. Now, this is just a little thing that I say to you. 
John saw all these. Now let's take a little detour and go around the city. A city of pure gold, the streets of gold. People, that's what you are in to the kingdom of God, the holy city. A child of the king. See, all this is going to be yours, that golden city. A crystal river flowing from the throne of the throne of God. Some of you will become gods. Jesus said so. Some say this city is 600 miles long, 600 miles wide, 600 miles high. Sometimes it's 1,200 miles long, 1,200 miles wide, 1,200 miles high. So others say it's 2,400 miles long, 2,400 miles wide, 2,400 miles high and wide the width of it. I've added it up, and I hope to call it, yeah, I did it wrong at all. 600, 600, 600, but look what that number comes up to be. Nothing. It's not 600. <coughs> it's more like 2400. Babel, that's going to be a huge city. A city that will hold everything. John saw that number. A number that could not be counted. In that city. And the throne. Holding palm branches. A golden city. People, that's what we have in store. Before Jesus went away, he said, In my Father's house are many mansions. <laughs> if it wasn't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare a place, I will come back. And receive you unto myself. People, this is what is waiting on me and you. And in that city, we're going to be reunited with loved ones gone before us. We are going to be reunited with them. Never would part. Always and always, forever and ever, in that golden city. Like I said last night, we're too close now to turn back. So let's just keep on going. Regardless of what this world throws at us, in Revelation it tells about the trials and tribulations that are to come upon us. Let's not take a detour. Go straight ahead. Because straight ahead is glory land. Paradise, heaven, New Jerusalem. Where all of our loved ones have gone before. And you're talking about a good time and a hallelujah time, a great time, an excellent time. When we all see them again. But the biggest one of them is when we see that man with the new scarred hands. We died upon the cross so that me and you can have this. So me and you can help us. Isn't it wonderful to be a child of the King? I know these with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Someday, people, and I sure don't believe it's going to be long before he splits that sky from these doors. And here he'll come with one big shell and a blast of the trumpet. Be you ready, because it's coming. <coughs> There's a guarantee he's coming. Smile, to be a child of the king and knowing that 
this is what we have left. And it's coming. People are feeling that you have to raise your hands and say, Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Let's stay on the right track, people, because we're homeward bound. Stay on the right track. Glory Land is right in sight, the Golden City.